Kali Linux, one of the best hacking distro, right? And we have installed it on Android many times before. But till now, we are using Termux to install it. But recently, I found an app which allows to install Kali Linux or any other distro like Ubuntu, Arch Linux very easily and also has built in features like built in VNC server means you no longer need to have an external VNC viewer to access GUI. So, if you are still using Termux to use these distros, then this may change your mind. So, the app I am talking about is Userland. Yes, yes, I know that I already made a video on how to use it, but Userland now has many new features like Tin VNC Viewer, and I will also share some tips and tricks at the end of video which I forgot to share in previous videos. So, first we need to get Userland app from Play Store, open it, and here you can use multiple distros, but here we are interested in Kali Linux. So just click on it. It is asking for storage permissions. So give that to it. Now here you can use it via SSH or VNC. So for now click on SSH. Give few minutes to it. And here is our Kali Linux machine. How easy it was to get Kali Linux running. But we don't have GUI yet. So let's install it. First we need to update its repositories. So execute following. It will take some time. So wait till it is finished. Next, we need to install VNC server. Now to use inbuilt VNC viewer in user land, we need to make some changes here. So change directly to now open this file. Go at the bottom of the file. And here change X term to start XFCE4. As Jomap 3 2080 into 720. You can change this according to your device and remove the rest. Then go up and change Jomap 3 here also. Now save and exit from the file. And close the SSH session. Now long click on Kali and click on stop app. Next click here. Again long click and click on edit. And change SSH to VNC. And that's it. We are done. Just save it. Now if you click on Kali, it will start VNC session. It will ask you for password. So the default password is userland only. And here is our Kali Linux with GUI. But if you don't want to use this inbuilt VNC viewer, then the start VNC server, set your password,
and I would recommend to get NetHunter Kex as it makes easier to use keyboard. So get it from the site. And go to VNC Viewer and set host to localhost and port to 5901 and enter your password and connect to it. And here is our Kalinux with GUI. Now to access your internal storage in user land, change directly to slash host rootfs slash storage. And here is your storage. This is my external SD card and this one is our internal storage. Now to get sound working, you need to have Termux. So install Pulse Audio in Termux, not in user land. Now open .bash rc file and paste following. Then just execute bash. Now go to your Kali machine and execute following. Then again execute bash. And that's it. Now you will get sound working. Now if you want to remove these extra keys or add some shortcuts here like in Termux, so just change directly to slash host rootfs slash data slash data slash tech dot ula slash files slash home. Now create dot termux directory. Go to directory which we created. Then go to termux and copy the contents of dot termux slash termux dot properties. Then again go to user land and open termux dot properties and paste that. Now you can change keys here and if you want some shortcuts as listed here, you can use that. And if you are thinking that how termux properties are working here, then answer to this is pretty simple as termux is an open source app. So user and developer has modified it and used it for their terminal. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.